hello and welcome back to this class of shear force in bending moment in our last class we have seen that how to make the shear force of a cantilever beam with a point load in our previous class we have seen that how to make the shear force diagram of a cantilever beam with a point load as well as if we are having multiple points load if you will recall that we have solved this problem where we were having three loads one load is acting in the upward direction and two loads were in the downward direction in this class we will try to learn how to make the bending moment diagram of the same problem and in the future classes we will consider the uniformly distributed load well cantilever beam with a point load at the tip suppose i am having a load of 100 newton and the length of the beam is let's 4 meter before i will make the bending moment i will quickly go through and i will make the shear force in this case what would be the shape of the shear force the shear force will be look like a rectangular body suppose this is point a and this is point b so i know which i have solved in the previous class that the shear force at point a will be minus 100 and why it is minus because my convention says that downward load means negative shear force and upward load means positive shear force so my shear force will be 100 and then it will remain 100 till this end and then again it will be 0 and this 0 can be validated by understanding the reaction at this point. When we are dealing with the cantilever kind of structure we can ignore the reaction but when we will talk about the simply supported structure definitely we have to calculate the reaction. So after looking again the shear force now let's try to understand the how to find the bending moment. So in this given problem I am interested to find the bending moment at point B as well as the bending moment at point A. In addition to these two values, I am also interested to find the bending moment in between these two points. That means I can write that I am interested to find the bending moment at any location x and the x equation is giving me an idea that how the bending moment is changing from point B to point A. So if I will write the bending moment at point B, simply it will be the load 100 but the load is acting itself at point B that means the 100 into 0 will be the value of bending moment. If I will write the bending moment at location x, the dis distance from the load is x and the load is 100 so my bending moment will be 100 into x. But again as we have defined some sign convention for the shear force in case of bending moment our convention is that if the bending moment for the given point is clockwise let's consider negative different books have different sign convention i am going to follow if the counterclockwise bending moment it will be positive if the clockwise then the negative so in my case if i am interested to find the bending moment at a location x from point b and the load is acting in the downward direction the moment of this load 100 about this point will be in the clockwise sense if you have doubt in getting the direction of the moment you can watch my previous video otherwise simply you can visualize here that the load is acting in the downward direction and suppose the beam is pivoted at this point this load is going to give a clockwise rotation to the beam so in my uh, according to my convention the clockwise moment will be negative so it will be minus 100 newton meter and this equation is actually valid up to point a actually it is giving how the bending moment is varying when i am moving from point b to a at point a the x will become 4 so when i will put the bending moment at a is equal to minus 100 4 into 4 it is going to give me the minus 400 newton meter is the value of bending moment so this is the numerical value of the bending moment at different point suppose i am interested to make the variation so what i will do i will first make the beam this is my point a this is my point b and i know that the bending moment is negative so at b it is zero and at any distance x it is increasing but the law is linear because here we are having x so we can say that the bending moment is proportional to x that means it is increasing linearly and when i am reaching at point b my bending moment is becoming minus 400 so this is how i am going to make the bending moment of a cantilever beam with a single point load i hope that now you are having 
some understanding how to make the bending moment let's solve the next problem where we are going to take two different loads and we will try to make the bending moment so here i am having one load of let's 80 newton and the second load is of 100 newton and the distance is let's 4 meter and this distance is 2 meter please understand i am not solving the same problem which i have solved in the previous example but the overall problem is the same in the previous class we have considered the three forces to understand the shear force but especially uh, intentionally i am keeping two loads so that the understanding will be better later on we can consider three loads or more load but if you will understand the philosophy with the two loads you can you will be able to solve the problem with more than two loads so here this let's this is a this is b and this is c uh, here i am not making the shear force diagram i am directly giving and writing the bending moment so i am interested to find the bending moment at point c bending moment at point b bending moment at point a in addition to that i am also interested to find the bending moment between the section cb and between the section ba so what i will do conventionally i consider the distance as x between the two point and then i write the equation so here also first i will write the bending moment at point c the load is acting as 80 newton but the distance is zero so directly i can write that the bending moment at point c will be zero after make calculating the bending moment at point c let's consider a distance x1 from this end c and try to write the bending moment at the distance x1 so my bending moment at a distance x1 will become what it will be 80 into x1 and what will be the sign so you can visualize that the load is acting in the downward direction and pound point is towards the left so definitely it is going to give me the clockwise sense and as per my sign convention it will be minus 80 newton meter this equation is valid up to point b why not beyond b we will understand but please this is a procedure so in addition to understanding the problem you should also learn the procedure so that you will be able to quickly solve the problem so this x1 equation is valid up to at point b my x1 will become what my x1 will become 2 and as this equation is valid up to point b the bending moment at point b will be what minus 80 into 2 that is minus 160 so let's start making the bending moment this is this line is representing my beam at point b the c bending moment is zero when i am reaching at point b and it is linearly varying because this is x1 so i am going to write a line in this way and this value is going to give me the value minus 160 beyond b i need to consider this 100 newton load so what i will do i will again going to consider the distance that is suppose a distance x2 but i am considering the distance from c only sometime you will find in the book they are going to consider the next distance from b point itself but i believe that if you are going to take the distance from the extreme right point you your equation will be simple and there there is a least chance of error so again i am going to write and now i am interested between the section b to a so my bending moment at any distance x2 will be what the bending moment at distance x2 will be because of this 80 newton as well as the 100 newton please it is not that you have considered the 80 up to point b then beyond b you are going only going to consider 100 you are taking this problem as a fairish problem and you are considering that if i am interested to find the bending moment at a distance x2 that means 80 newton will have some effect 100 newton will have some effect but we need to find the effect with the proper distance so the bending moment at distance x2 will be what minus 8 to 80 x2 why this is minus because the same philosophy the the moment is in the clockwise sense in addition to this 80 now 100 is also coming into the picture so the effect of 100 will be look like minus 100 and the distance from 100 newton to the point of interest is this one only and this is what the total distance is x2 and this is distance 2 so it will be what it will be x2 minus 2 so i am going to multiply x2 minus 2 and this is my equation which is valid up to point a 
so we if i will put x2 is equal to uh, 6 here because my distance is from point c so when i will put this 6 in this equation i will get minus 80 into 6 minus 100 into 6 minus 4 means 4 so it will be 480 negative minus 400 it will be minus 880 newton meter so the bending moment at this point will be what the bending moment will be 880 newton meter and if i will draw the bending moment diagram my bending moment diagram will be a line because this is again a linearly varying equation so the final value will be what the final value will be minus 880 so this is how i am going to complete the bending moment diagram when i am having two point load similarly if you are having multiple point loads what you need to do you have to simply write the equation and then you have to get the value of the bending moment so with these two problems i am closing this session and i believe that now you are having a basic understanding of shear force and bending moment in my next class we are going to consider one or two example and then we will move to the problem of uniformly distributed load i'll meet you soon thank you for watching this video